Hi, I'm Frank Romboskis from AdwordsInsideSecrets.com. Now, as you may know, I built a very successful internet business. In fact, several internet businesses. I've become a New York Times bestselling author. I've got tons of media and press, and I've done it all from Google AdWords. So imagine my surprise when I was asked to begin speaking at internet marketing seminars and I discovered a tremendous amount of resistance to Google AdWords within the internet marketing community. And it stems from the idea that the only good traffic is free traffic. Well, of course, you and I know that to be wrong because for every dollar I spend on AdWords, I get several dollars back in conversions and revenue. See, it's all about the return on investment. It's not about whether something is free or not, but despite that, Again, for some reason, people in the internet marketing community, they want to focus on uh, article marketing and podcasting and blogging. All these things are great and they do get me traffic, but it doesn't change the, the fact that over 90% of my traffic that converts continues to come from Google AdWords. So what I'd like to do today is begin a series of explaining why you need to be using AdWords. And if you are using AdWords, show you some ways that you can use it that you may have not thought possible before. So I'll start with an example. I recently created a new product that is now in production at the Replication House. The thing is, when I create a new product, I don't want to pay thousands of dollars to have uh, copies of it made and stocked only to find out that it won't sell. So what I did was I used AdWords to create a small, limited campaign that was budget controlled, and I spent about $50 a day on AdWords for a week to generate a good amount of traffic in that time. And what I did during that time is I very carefully tracked that traffic and took very close looks at what worked and what didn't. Well, the conclusion was after spending $50 a day for a week or about $350, I had a hit on my hands that the traffic was converting very well into not only opt-ins, but into sales and orders for the product. So based on that, I've now clicked the pause button on that AdWords campaign. I've sent the product off to the replication house to have the uh, discs and the book printed and duplicated. And once they're warehoused, I can have a full product launch. And I can turn the AdWords campaigns not only back on, but back on with a high budget. So that's one example of an application of AdWords that you may not have thought of. So even if you're an AdWords customer, here's a dimension of it that you can use. You can use it to test products to determine if they are viable or not. Because if you're an internet marketer, you've probably been through the experience of creating a product spending thousands upon thousands of dollars to have it created and warehoused only to have it not sell. So AdWords is one way around that. And if you're not using AdWords, here's a dimension of it you may not have thought of. Even if you have an issue with paying for traffic, which is silly because again, it's the return on investment that matters. But even if you don't want to pay for traffic, here's a way that you can use AdWords as a tool to market test new products. If you want to learn more about AdWords and how you can get started today with a high return on investment at low cost, visit my website, AdWordsInsideSecrets.com, where you can download the first 10 chapters of my AdWords Inside Secrets book absolutely free. Thank you.